Hi, and welcome to another episode of Paul Westbrook's Cinema Picks of the Week. I guess this is Paul. My brother is allowing me to do some more videos. This one's for all, the, all kids of all ages, children at heart, adults, uh, obviously, and kids. It's the Harry Potter movies, and maybe if I remember some tidbits about the books, throw some of that at you too. However, there's eight movies that are called Harry Potter, but you also have the new ones, which I will include in the second video. Because it's going to be a two-parter. So let's get down to business. The magical business. First movie is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Young Harry Potter is about 12 years old, if I remember correctly, when he gets his acceptance letters from Hogwarts Wizarding School. However, his uncle Vern and his aunt and cousin don't like him, and they do. His aunt and uncle really don't want him to get his letter from Hogwarts. So they try and whisk him away so no one can find him. However, he gets found by none other than Hagrid. He's a really tall guy. He comes in and gives Harry his letter of acceptance. Um, after the talk, they end up in Delgant. Good thing I don't use flu powder because I'll never get where I'm supposed to go. They get into the wizarding alley <laughs> to go shopping for school supplies. Young Harry realizes that he has no money to pay for everything. Um, and, uh, and Hagrid explains to him that his parents did leave him with money. And that was at the Wizard Bank, and there was no place other safer than Hogwarts. They go to the bank, and they go to first Harry's vault. He pulls out some money. I can't remember exactly what it's called right now. What kind of money they use, but money regardless. Um, they get school supplies. Well, Harry is in. Well, Harry and Hagrid is in the, are in the bank. They also go to another vault. Because Hagrid has to pick something up special for Dumbledore. Um, on the way out, while they're shopping, Harry goes and buys a wand, a wand while in getting buying one. Hagrid sneaks off and buys a birthday gift for Harry. An owl named Hegwood. No, I think so. Hedwood. It's a nice, beautiful white owl. Then they head to the train station and platform nine and three quarters. However, Hegwood looks at his watch and realizes that he's late to meet Dumbledore and gives Harry his train ticket and tell him to stick to his ticket is very important but doesn't tell him how to get on the platform he looks around he asks someone and they think he's joking make fun of him and tell him to run along then he hears a wizarding a family coming because the mother says packed full of muggles which Hagrid used so he knew they can't find him. And, and also, she also mentions the platform nine three quarters this way. He, wa he watches the Weasley twins and older brother go through the wa wall and asks how. And it, then he finds out he meets this one, Ron Weasley. It's his first year, too. Same age as Harry. The mother tells him how to get onto the platform, and if he's scared, to do a bit of a run at it. Now, once on the pl on the platform, he looks looks he's astounded by everything around him. He can't believe it. I wouldn't either. But yes. anyways, they him and Ron find a place to a booth to sit on the train. 
on a train ride, a lady with a trolley comes, that has a whole bunch of snacks, and off, asks anybody if they want anything. Ron calls up a bag full of homemade treats for the ride. I don't know how those are. And a young Haley wants to make an impression, so he buys the whole lot. Um, while they're doing, while they're eating junk food, um, and Ron decides to try and show off by doing a little spell on his rat. When this one, Hermione Granger, shows up and asking about a rat, they become great friends, really good friends throughout the whole movie. Um, in, within the movie, um, young Harry discovers a whole lot, um, but at the same time, more than he wants, I think, if I remember the book correctly. But he ends up saving the school. That's one thing that you can always almost count on in almost all the movies is that he's always saving the school. This one here he actually stops he who must, he who must not be named and pretty much all of them. But on the long on the way he becomes great friends with Ron and Hermione. And Next movie is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. There's this little cute little house elf named Dobby makes an appearance. He's cute. He's a slave elf. Um, the only way he can be freed is by his master wizarding family giving him a piece of clothing. Um, in Chamber of Secrets, uh, Ron's sister Jenny comes to Hogwarts because he's his age now. Um, but she gets picked on it and she's lonely so she finds a book and starts writing in it and writes back to her. But while she's writing it, uh, stuff starts happening around school. People start getting petrified. And Hermione that figures, out, figures it all out. But they find out throughout the movie that Harry is a palstrung and can speak to snakes and heals them. And then it awaits in the chamber is a huge basilisk. I'm not going to say how he kills them, if he kills them, but he again defeats he who must be named. It's a very good movie. They all are. To me, anyways. The next one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Again, these three are always up to no good, but also they're saving everything. And this one here, um, it's actually more Harry and Hermione. Um, and Hagrid, because he's got a teaching post in this episode, in this, at least this one, he has a teaching post. And Harry finds out that he has a godfather, Sirius Black. Now, he was accused of giving giving away the secret of where his parents were, and that's why the, his parents are dead, because of the godfather. He finds out the truth at the end, and Hermione has more classes than should have, no way to beat me. Ron, anyways, there's no chance that she could get, attend all classes. She'd have to be at two places at once. She's got a little ne magical necklace that turns time. So, close to the end, Harry and Hermione go back in time to save not one, but two lives. And I can say with two, you're gonna have to watch the movie to find out. But again, they save the day working together. Now the next one is, uh, next one and the last one for this episode, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. 
And this one's a good one too. So we actually kind of figure out that Ron has a big crush on Hermione. Spoiler alert. But the Goblet of Fire is for three visiting schools to, to compete for a big trophy. Um, I can't remember exactly the two schools that come to Hogwarts because Hogwarts is hosting it. But a new character in the movie is Mad Eye Moody. Unfortunately, the cover does not show Mad Eye Moody. But it shows some of the other characters that are in this episode. In this movie. Um, more or less, you have to be a certain age to enter it, into the contest. And Harry's name pops up, obviously. And the whole, everybody goes haywire about it. Ron that gets mad, thinks he tricked him and did, did it without telling him. But it turns out that it was a teacher that did it. And then he, Harry ends up in a, a graveyard at the close to the end. One of the other characters ends up dying. Like a serious one. You gotta watch to find out. Um, he's a really good actor in a few other movies too. I just can't name him off the top of my head. But Harry realizes that something really, really bad has happened. They try to get back to the cup to get out of there, then the person dies. And then he who must not be named gets brought back to life. Well, half life, actually. But in the end, again, Harry gets away across the life, but he does get away. But the Harry Potter movies are really good and interesting. Except there's eight movies or seven books. And if you count the two new ones, there's technically ten movies. But they are really good, all of them. These four movies are gonna do for the, just for this episode. I'll come back with the other four on maybe the Saturday. Um, but for now, have a magical rest of your day, evening, whichever you may call. Uh, try and keep cool in this, all this heat. And try and make things, do things, keep busy, but, and cool all at the same time. And. I know my brother has his catchphrase when he signs off, but I'm doing my, I'm going to do my own, well, just for this one. Since we're doing Harry Potter, it's about magic, and I'm a really big fan of anything magical. I'm going to say, to end this show, I'll see you next time. For now, blessed be.